everybody, here we are, Jack's here. Say hello, Jack. Jack, say hello. <laughs> we're, we're actually up in Cranbrook today. It's the Cranbrook station. I'm not sure if the um, passenger trains go through anymore. But the trains come through here, I think, from Albany, heading up towards Perth. So, I know, it's the whole old pub across the road. Trust me to find a pub. And the sign on the wall says, today is a good day to have a good day. And it's closed at the moment. I thought I might be able to get a lunch, but it must only be open at night time. Yep, today is always a good day to have a good day. <laughs> Private entrance to the lounge. Must be a working pub, all the kegs out the back. Very quiet now, it must have been thriving community at one time. There's a museum down there somewhere. The kids at school playing. Checks in the bus. Viewings by appointment. There's, I bet there's some history in that building too. It's a pity they haven't got a plaque saying that when it was built and all that kind of thing. Old truck out the back and the railway line that goes right up to the through the wheat belt and up towards um, Perth, North Perth, and this railway line that goes to Albany. Obviously, not used anymore for passenger service. I don't think there's even a pass, although there is talk of. Um, Reopening again for passenger service. Probably go up on a Friday, come back on a Monday or something like that. But it all depends on how much they charge. If they're going to charge too much, they're not going to get much. People, many people using it. It's easier to drive than it is to. Um, it's easier to drive up than it is to catch a train. And it's a four-hour drive, but at least when you get to Perth, you've got a, a car. Now I'm just rambling. Just stick it on me. New sticker on the back of the bus. <laughs> right, I'll wait this on the phone, we'll just go for a click. Sorry about the reflection on the window, that's the octopus leg. <laughs> so the centre looks like it used to be an old shop.
Hampton Park and flying foxes. Kill Siren. <laughs> Great Park. I never had it sound like that when I was a kid. <gasps> oh, awesome Park. Never had anything like that when I was a kid. Got barbecues, look. Barbecues and the best flying fox. A nice big oval. It's interesting. And there's hardly any breeze. God knows what it's like when the wind gets up. Look at that for a flying fox. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to put Jack on it. If he doesn't stop being in pain. I had two swings. A good one and a little one. Well that's Cranbrook, that's a tiny little place. Tidy little place, not tiny. That's fuck, but it's not. Very important to the wheat belt community. So there's a um, wheat silos here, so there's all the farms from around the area. Bring their wheat to the silo here before it gets picked up to go to Perth on the train. Come on, jump in. Cranbrook site contract, so you can see here that's one of the silos with the cloth over, so that's got something in it but all these ones you can see just in the front here are all empty, that one's down so that would be the dry store, they would put it in there and then they'd put it out here if they needed to that's what they look like, they're just um, steel frames stop the wheat from spreading once they start to fill it up and throw the sheets all over the top. I'll feed them down as well. But yeah, awesome. Imagine how much that holds when it's full. There must be quite a few of them. So here we are, we're just leaving the CBH group uh, at Cranbrook and this is the Salt River Road which runs into the Stirling Ranges. We've actually travelled down this road once before. But now we're heading down to the main highway which will take us back on to Albany Highway to head back home. You can see that the railway lights here are active but the little white truck on the side there, they're working on the lines and the girl waved us through the first time so assuming she'll see us again this time and wave us through. Yes, she did. Now uh, we'll just go onto the, under the wooden banner here. One side says welcome to Cranbrook and the other side says welcome to the Stirling Ranges. So this is the Great Southern uh, Highway which one runs from Albany Highway up through the Wheat Belt. So we'll do a left here and we'll head to Albany Highway 
and we'll start to head on our way home. Well, we really hope you enjoyed this little trip to the canola fields and Cranbrook. And we'll try and get another video up again next week. But as mentioned, I think in the video, we are having uh, problems with I've just started a new job. So we'll see what we can fit in, but I'm sure we should be all right. Okay, everybody. Thanks. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. Jack and Steve here. We'd just like to thank you all for watching. And um, just remember, please subscribe and we'll, you'll get messages when the next video's got. Isn't that right? Yes!